Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be doing 3 months with my iPhone 7. So this is kind of going to be like a review slash just telling you guys my user experience on my iPhone 7 for the last 3 months. And the reason I've only had it for 3 months is because the launch date in South Africa was a month later than the official launch date. Okay, so I've typed down some aspects of things that I like about my phone and just discussing the different aspects of the phone that is unique to the phone. Okay, so first thing I'm going to be talking about is the speed of my phone. Okay, so the speed of this phone is great. It's super fast, it's very responsive to everything you do, and it just gives me great usage out of the phone. Okay, so I'm going to load Geekbench. If you don't know what that is, it, it tests like the CPU of your phone, like the speed, so Insert that clip. Next thing is camera. My camera of my iPhone 7 is also great. I love the camera of my iPhone 7, even though it doesn't have portrait mode, that dual camera. It's still amazing. The camera gives nice and clean HD photos and does super well in low light. Since I do vlog, I've been really using the front-facing camera. So it's a very, very good camera, keeping in mind that it, it is the front-facing camera. Next up is the battery of my phone. The battery life of this phone is very impressive, keeping in mind that I like to go on YouTube regularly and I do heavy duty editing on my phone. Now my battery doesn't last all day but that was that's to be expected. Now the thing that everybody rants about that I don't think is a big deal since everyone is following in the footsteps is the no headphone jack thing. This doesn't really bother me. The only times where I find I wish it had a headphone jack is like when I'm watching a video, movie or TV series on my phone with my earphones and the battery so that's the only times that I actually wish there was a headphone jack other than that I'm fine with it okay so the speakers of my iPhone 7 the speakers are super good I am very impressed and my mom and my sister both have the 6s plus and if when you compare these speakers to their speakers it's a very big difference you can really hear the difference okay so now the size of my phone the size of this phone is perfect for me like absolutely perfect it's not too big and it's not too small and yeah like I said it's just perfect for me because I usually put my phone in my jean pockets and it's perfect size where it fits perfectly or I just take a small handbag so I don't like having big bags with me and this is also great for that okay so now the usability okay so this is very user friendly and it is a very nice and clean operating system I feel like Android is more for people who like playing around with their phones, having more widgets and things like that and iOS is just for people who don't necessarily do things like that and are just looking for a nice clean operating system. So basically if you just want an easy and clean operating system I really recommend iOS. Okay so storage. I have the 32 gigabyte iPhone 7 and it's way way better than my 16 gig 6s and since I do it on my phone like I've mentioned I do still get a few storage problems, but it's way better than it was before. But for people who just want to use the phone for regular reasons, the 32 gig will definitely do the job. Okay, so the fingerprint scanner, and I know it's not just on the iPhone 7, but the fingerprint scanner on this phone is super, super good. I have only had like one or two times where it doesn't recognize my finger, but that's very rare. So I do think the fingerprint scanner is very helpful. Okay, so 3D touch. I don't use 3D touch that often, but when I do, it is very helpful. But yeah, like I said, I don't really use it that often. Okay, so the big change on this phone is definitely the home button. I don't know if you guys know, but it has like a vibration motor built in, so it feels like it's you're pressing a button, but you're actually not. It's so weird when the phone's off and you click there and it's like nothing. But I've gotten really used to it and I really, really like it. I just love the vibration motors in this phone. I feel like it doesn't get enough credit. And obviously there are other things that the vibration motors are used for. Like when you slide down, it makes that bouncing effect. Or my absolute favorite is when you 
go to your alarm to set an alarm it actually feels like you're rolling something i guess in your on your phone i don't know it's it's almost like it's tricking you it just it feels like you're actually spinning something in your device you know so overall i love the new home button and the the vibration motors in this phone it just it just gives it a more user experience a better user experience okay so now for the display it's a very very nice display it's super great and bright there are some times where i wish the display was brighter but that's only to my preference since i really like bright screens but yeah like i said it's only my preference okay so now for the build of the iphone 7 now i absolutely love the look of the iphone 7 and i know there's not a big difference between the 7 and the 6s and things like that but the fact that they put the antenna bands at the top and not through i guess I love that it just gives it a nice and clean look and I know all obviously the headphone jack is taken out but I just love the look of it it's just a nice clean back and yeah I, I really like it okay so now for a few apps on the iPhone 7 that are also on other iOS devices but I just felt like talking about them so one is Siri Siri is still amazing she's still very helpful there have been a few times where she doesn't recognize my voice, but that's not that often. Okay, so now for iMessage. I love the iOS 10 update where you can have different effects on your iMessage, so I love that. I just feel like it just makes texting that much more fun. So iMovie. I use iMovie a lot since I do edit on my phone like I've mentioned a bazillion times in this video. And it just works really great on my phone. Raise to wake. I have mixed feelings about this because... I mean, it's very helpful if you want to like check the time, but I, sometimes I feel like it's a waste of battery life because a lot of the time my battery is low and then when I accidentally tilt it, it just wastes more battery life. I feel like when there wasn't race to wake, my battery would hold a little longer, but yeah, it can be helpful sometimes and sometimes I feel like it's kind of a pain, but yeah. Okay, so that was my review of my three months with my iPhone 7. Now. Overall, I love, love, love this phone. It's super great and it's just very user friendly and super fast and I just love every single thing about the phone. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Now, leave a comment down below saying what you think of the phone, if you like the phone, and any other video requests you'd like me to do. Subscribe to my channel and my other channel, Kayla's World. Link in the description box below. Definitely subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Go check out my social medias. I have Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat. So I would love if you would follow slash add me on there. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.